All right, guys, day one here, about to launch a boat in the water. Got a beautiful morning here on uh, Cuga Lakes, and uh, should be an absolute whack fest today. I just hope I can hope I can keep up, and uh, hopefully we can get a couple of those good bites. We're gonna launch her, launch her in. What is the minimum scoreable? Uh, I don't know if that does it, but we'll find out. Yeah, you're good, you're good. 1 4. <laughs> That's not a scoreable. Not a scoreable. Yeah. I can just tell. That's a nice one. One hook. He had one hook. Oh boy. I mean, one of the bat treble hooks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you for letting me land that one. Another big one. Oh. She ran me into the rock and come off. Shoot. Shoot. You're good, you're good. It's little, it's little. I'm gonna weigh it, but it's gonna weigh. 
because you're not so efficient, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh man, I'm sorry, dude. Just kill. You're good. Just click zero. You're good. Okay, you're good. Okay. 110 squirrel. big it's not <sighs> realm of the scale so if I drop it it's not a penalty at this point yeah you're within the zone yeah 114 One eight. Think that there ain't many good ones on this. A lot of drum, rock bass, and pound and a half. -er. Oh my gosh. I should catch one right here. Should. Don't know if I will. Well, hell, that one would have helped. fish are in this little hole. A lot of them. They're all small. Yeah, 
All right, guys, so that is uh, the end of the second period. Sorry I didn't give you a first period uh, update, but uh, <clears throat> man, been a tough day on me. Um, this program out here pitching to spawners on this flat um, with my active target, it's really tough in this wind, and when the boat smacks, the fish really don't want to bite. Um, gonna keep plugging away, man. We're really, you know, I'm in like 26th or 7th place right now. Um, really just two high three, around four pound bites away from uh, being right where we need to be inside that cut line. So uh, fingers crossed we get a couple of those good bites this afternoon. We're about to get cracking on period three. Yeah, oh yeah. I appreciate it. Nope. I'm not going to weigh it. And I'm going to make sure I take it off, like, down here. That way I don't get a penalty if he comes off. He looked bigger than that. I know, size what I thought. Yeah. 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 Good to go. Three one. All right, they're good. Yeah, I knew they were similar. Same dang size. That you were here. It doesn't help. No. What's my small one? It is. Two fifteen now. 
They don't help. Nope. Huh? I said 12.15. 2 feet. I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. All right, partner. Man, I had a great day. I did too. I, I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it with you. Well, heck yeah, man. I'm glad. Can I ask you for you, sir? Do you think you can sign the broken road for my phone? Oh, uh, what? Yeah. Whatever. Whatever you want. That would be cool, man. Yeah. Let's get back to the ramp real quick. Yeah, yeah. And then we can sign and do the course, do the course, paper. Of course. That would be awesome. Sounds good, man. More than happy to. A little travel hack. Learned it from my older friends downstairs actually. This is how you stay regular on the road. It's not just for old people. Alright, so let's talk about today and how we sucked. And how on tomorrow, because tomorrow's the off day. But the next day we gotta turn around. Um it is a bummer that 16 and a half pounds is sucking, but in New York in June it is. <laughs> um, just never had a bite over four pounds a day. Had weighed all the fish I weighed in were uh, three sums. Uh, so I had 16 and a half, and the cut line's 20 pounds. It's pretty crazy. I thought I thought it'd be close. Thought it'd be 18 or 19, but it's 20 pounds. Um, so we got some work cut out for us. I think, you know, I'll have to have 22, 23 to have a chance. Um, but it's out there. There's quite a few. I think there was 15 bags over 22 pounds today. So, or close to it, 13, 14 bags. So they're out there to be caught. May have to alter the game plan a little bit. Um, may have to do something scary, like just going to put the troll motor down and looking for smallmouth. Um, so yeah, got some uh, pondering on the game plan. Or there was, you know, I know some guys around me had good bags um, of large mouth. So there's some 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 game plan to be done for uh, for the, for day two. But uh, we got a day off tomorrow to uh, to think about it, re-rig some gear. And I think we're even going to go fishing because we're in New York. Fishing's incredible, so we're going to take advantage of it. But I'm exhausted, so I am going to catch some sleep. Day two, we just launched the boat here across the lake. We're about to run across over the official takeoff point. Uh, man, we got a beautiful morning. Uh, not, not forecast for a lot of wind today, which uh, could be conducive for what I think I need to do. I think I need to try some new things, bounce up really shallow, look around a little bit, maybe even run down down south and uh, look for some spawning smallmouth. Uh, I'm gonna try and stay up here this morning, catch a few fish, settle down. Uh, hopefully I can get a decent limit fairly quick and uh, then we can start running and gunning and maybe trying to go sight fish. Uh, I just think that that is my best chance to make a comeback. I didn't do it very much at all in practice. Um, it was a mistake, <laughs> but it's never too late to make an adjustment. We got to make those adjustments today. Um, if I want to bust a big bag, I need, need at least 23 pounds, um, probably 23 and a half have a chance to make a cut and uh, that's what we're going out swinging for today.
All right, now let's get to work. It's small, but it'll get us started. I don't, I'm gonna hold him over the dang gunnel, so. Two pounds, zero ounces. <laughs> Be cool if one of you would bite eventually. One of them bit eventually. <laughs> Jeez, man. Ain't a big one, but start. Three pounds, 12 ounces. All right. Three, 12, y'all. Start. I'm just not seeing near as many fish in these holes. I may be about to get a bite. I think that one makes it, man. <laughs> when are you going to eat it eventually? Two pounds, 14 ounces. You want to reweigh? I may. Okay. Yeah, here, let me reweigh. Sure. I'm going to leave them on there while I fix You got water. it. I understand. Two pounds, 15 ounces. All right. oh. Not that it matters. I can't weigh him, you know, but yeah. Every little bit makes you feel better, I guess. Oh, 
Come here, dude. Two ten. Two pounds, seven ounces. <laughs> Needed you. Needed you. Four pounder. Four pounds, two ounces. There we go. Four two. Come here. Come here. Got you. Alright. I got you, booger. Not quite a five. That's a mid four. Four pounds, nine ounces. Here we go. Here we go, guys. It's a nice fish. How many times did I pitch at that? 17. No. <laughs> Told you it's the biggest fish I'd seen in a hole. Jeez, a Pete. Has Brandon called any? Should have retied after the freaking big one. Dang! Brandon has 18 pounds, six ounces. Dang! Why didn't I retie? Dang it, dang it, dang it. John, you big goat dum dum. I mean, that was about as dumb as it gets, dude. Oh no, so much better than that. I've caught two solid ones on the freaking drop shot. Just retie. That hurts. That hurts. And it was heavy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. to do after that fish though? Take a leak. Retie. Another four and a half probably. Four pounds. Thir 14 ounces. Four fourteen. Four fourteen guys. Keep plugging. Five. They gave me a five on the way. Hey. Nux. Screw them. You can get nux. <laughs> Five 
What's my small? Your small is two pounds, 15 ounces. Okay, it's good. We got some room to grow. So, a 215. So really a six gets me fishing tomorrow. Or bite away now. What do I have? Uh, you have uh, minutes, I Plenty of time. You're good. I don't have time to catch another one. You're good. Right. We'll weigh this one in. One, one second. Sorry. Three pounds, seven ounces. Ounces. That helps, huh? It does. Half a pound. <laughs> At the end of period two. What do I have? You have 20 pounds, 13 ounces, and you're in 21st, 21st place. Far up. That was almost to where I caught them in the morning. Oh, it was where I ended up catching them. I caught them way up. So where, where, where you caught, literally where you caught that 412 and the 36, yeah, I've looked. That's where I caught my four, uh, my four thirteen, and my four four, like within fifty yards of your pit. Really? When you said that, we were one hundred and fifty yards from it, from where I ended up catching them. It, I couldn't tell. It was like yeah. it was within. When you told me we were close. I, that was I was way up higher than that. I, was yards. I don't remember exactly, Brandon. I just know that they were within you know a few hundred yards, yeah. like. Just that, that upper inside zone. Alright guys, so that is a wrap for Cuga Lake uh, tournament video. Unfortunately, there won't be a, uh, a knockout round video this time. Uh, we didn't make it there. It just came up short, man. Came up a couple pounds short. That first day really, really, really killed me. Uh, having 16s, digging yourself quite the hole. It would end up having to have like 20, low 24s a day. Uh, Still went out and caught a good bag, 21 pounds, salvaged some points, moved up a little bit. Um, so that's really important when it comes into the year and making the Red Crest Championship. So uh, yeah, man, a little bummed, but uh, it's part of it. We got two more events, so uh, looking to uh, finish the season strong up north. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, please. Uh, that's how we continue to uh, bring these awesome videos to you. When the lights go down